These are five more design patterns that every UI and UX designer should know and be using in their work. You guys really liked the last one, so this is part two. Okay, we're talking about design patterns for UI and UX designers, but before we go too far, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification icon so you know when more videos like this one come out. All right, pattern number one is the carousel. And no, I don't mean that little merry-go-round thing you ride at the carnival. I mean a UI carousel. Carousels are used to browse through content like image or cards, and they're often that content linked to other types of content inside of your website or application. Uh, here on like a mobile iteration of this, we often make carousels overlapping or off canvas. So the user knows there's something there to horizontally swipe on, but that's kind of like a mobile version of a carousel. You can also do carousels inside of websites or web applications where you can see multiple images and tap on those. And here's one more. You can even do carousels kind of in a stacked way. As you swipe them, you kind of reveal the next piece in the stack. Design pattern number two is the good old fashioned pagination. The way that we navigate around between multiple pages of information. Paginations are usually found near the bottom of an interface and they organize content into different pages so you can click through by page number. A lot of times they have arrows at the very left or right of them and sometimes they might have a first or go to the very last page just in case you need to get to page 1004. So here's an example of a pagination. We have an interface and down at the very bottom, we would be able to page through all of this content one page at a time. A lot of times in mobile, you'll find paginations represented by multiple dots. And as the user swipes through or kind of browses through different pieces of content, the dot will change the active state showing you're on one page or one state or another. Pattern number three is the input field. Very basic, very common. Input fields are places where users will input their information to complete certain processes. They're often using contact forms, uh, but you can also find them when you're checking out inside of your cart by putting in your credit card information or maybe completing something like a survey. In this example, we have kind of a sign up form, really simple. We, we're going to talk about this more, but we have active states for input fields, inactive states. Uh, we can see lots of different states over here, error states and contact information states, inactive filled line. There's all different ways you can style input forms. Pattern number four is named after food because yet again, it's proof that designers love food. We just do. This one is called the chip or sometimes called the tag, but I like to call it the chip. Chips are labels of a certain kind that help mark and filter options and categorize information or content. They usually consist of keywords or categories, and they're often used to filter down and find the right selection. You can see we have some examples of chips here, so we'd be able to kind of filter down. We have active state, inactive state. Sometimes they're used to uh, with an outline state, a filled state. Here's another implementation of chips or tags. Not this navigation up here at the top, but instead these chips down here are great examples of how to filter. So we're looking for something on a certain street in Palo Alto, you know, and we're looking for cheap rentals. It's a way to filter down, but a really easily distinguishable way to kind of filter and categorize things. Those are chips. Last pattern for the day is the good old fashioned toggle switch. It's just a simple way to turn something on and off. Think of a light switch. They're often used in profile settings and for modifying different preferences inside of websites and applications. You can dress a toggle switch up any way you want. You know, you have inactive and active. Usually they can be square, round with lines, icons inside or no icons, but pretty standard stuff on off different states or styles for that on and off. You can even get really spicy and add cool animations and things just to kind of bring your toggle switches to life, but that might be overkill for you. You can just stick with the good old fashioned, simple toggle switch. Well, that's it. Those are five more design patterns for UI and UX designers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and check the description for some helpful links. I hope you're having an amazing week. Hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and using those tried and true techniques to really bring your applications to life. We'll see you in the next one.